Ben. All right, we'll watch Zone Guardians running. They, they, they are the most eclectic team. I'll put it that way. They play path, but they play zone path. They don't even play edge path. They play the fucking zone. So this is very interesting. Oh, this will be very interesting. I've never fully watched one of their VODs. So, but I'm actually very interested to dive in to see what, what else. I do know they play edge, like literally they play in the zone all the time. Yeah, PUBG strats. Pro players in Apex are basically acting too chummy and use Griefer to say hurt a pro team. There are some, there are some legitimate uses of the word grief. There, I do agree that there are too many players that use the word grief too fucking frequently. Rather than like taking, like one team will like lose a fight, a fair fight, and the other team will be just fine. They get all their loot and they go and rotate and a team will be like, oh, they griefed me. That's not a grief. A grief is when a team takes a notably stupid ass push. Not saying I, I don't know anything about the GG push. We'll see. But uh, griefing is when a team takes a really, really dumb push and they even know it. And it ends up getting both teams killed because they took that push. But griefing is thrown around way too much. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back real quick. So 29 and 15. I'm gonna go back a little bit because I actually want to see where they all drop. I wasn't paying attention to that, like where particularly they drop. Because I'm curious why they're always playing fucking zone. All right, so they have Timmy. All right, so P Fitter lands. So P Fitter lands down here and he loses this. I think Timmy loses like these three buildings and he dips. Uh, P Fair seems like he lands here and then he uh, rotates over to help Bronzy loot. Uh, simpler as things to follow. I think their looting is definitely slow because they are literally always in the zone. Whether that's intentional, I don't know. I've never actually sat here and watched all their VODs. I just noticed they're always in the fucking zone. What's your thoughts about meta difference between NA and EU, Pat, Jimmy, and how it will turn out when they fight each other in land? Thanks. Uh, I haven't watched actually any of the EU side for this tournament. So I don't know. I'm assuming a lot of them play Jibby though. Um, I think it'll be interesting because honestly, a lot of NA started originally playing a lot of Jibby. But almost it's almost like the more Jibbies you have, the more a lot of people in NA have discovered that the more Jibbies you have, the better Pathfinder is because Jibbies tend to play uh, a little more on the edge. Like they don't relatively go for the circle right away. So if you don't have a lot of people going for the circle right away, then Pathfinder makes more sense. To, like, if more, like say like 18 teams are playing Jibby and two teams are playing Pathfinder, those Pathfinder teams are probably going to get a really good spot in the circle if they rotate fast enough. So it's very interesting because, and I say this because NA, I don't think this has happened in EU, but NA actually went from a, like almost everyone playing Jibby and trying it to a lot of the top teams reverting back to Pathfinder now that there's so many Jibbies. What's up, Gundam? Who are we watching? We're watching It's Timmy, Golden Guardians. It's Timmy, Bronzy, and P-Fitter. So right now, this is already killing me. Lava City doesn't have a lot of loot, like, or rather it's very loot dense, meaning like, it's a, it's a lot of loot and it's very like tightly packed versus a lot of the other points of interest. So it shouldn't be, realistically, it shouldn't be hard to actually loot this very quickly. What Timmy just did like burns my, my soul. Um, going back like that, a lot of what they're—I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna—I'm gonna put this disclaimer out right now. A lot of what they do is going to burn me on the inside, only because they play path, but they play the edge and all like consistently. I don't know if it's like a particular like, hey, this is what we want to do. If this is their strategy, or if they're just overall like slow on looting, so they're forced to do it. All right, so right out of the gate, they aren't right out of the gate. They're taking their fucking sweet time. And again, I th I don't know if they do this intentionally, but I always see them on the edge of the zone. So either it's something that they're not really working on, but they need to min max this. It's kind of silly to play Pathfinder and not go for the middle of the zone and just play edge the whole time. You might like there's no reason to play path at that point. I'm Peach. How are you? Yeah, they're kitted. Don't get me wrong. But like their looting is so slow. They could, they could have all of this and have been out before the fucking circle starts closing. I think Bronzy likes to rotate late. Okay. 
They play for min maxing loot more than positioning, but then like, but then why play Pathfinder? That's my only like. If they play Jibby, I totally understand this. I don't understand why the Pathfinder. Is it just because Timmy's strong on it? That's what I don't get. That's what is weird to me. Like path for comfort. Well, shit. <laughs> I think uh, anyone that plays certain characters that. I think like I, I don't think this is a game that like you can only one trick a character. I think eventually everyone's gonna have to probably learn how to play other characters. Wraith is probably a safe bet for the most part, unless they like drastically change her. Watson as well. But I think a lot of players should be able to flex. People that are like pissed at like all these characters, are, like Wraith or whatever, is getting nerfed. Like I get it. Wraith's a really fun character. She's very important and competitive. So it's like frustrating to see her nerfed. I get that. But. I think it's a bad mentality to have like, oh, I am a path main, I am a jibby main, or I am a whatever main, because you could very quickly be obsolete the next patch. I never, I hated jibby and I never played him, but I've been grinding my ass off to make myself a more impressive and, not more impressive, a more uh, attractive candidate for teams. Because that's, a lot of free agent teams are fucking up, are like, they're all looking for jibby players and no one plays jibby. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll start playing jibby. Like a lot of these characters aren't that diverse. They, like, they're, it's a lot more than, like, than meets the eye, but a lot of these characters aren't that diverse where, like, you need to be, you need to spend months studying the fucking blade to learn how to play them. For the most part, like, this game is, like, a lot, like, it's probably, like, 60% gunplay, 40%, like, your ability to play that character. Like, if you can't, if you can hit your shots, you'll probably be able to be good on any character. You just have to spend time playing with it. Obviously, positioning matters for a lot of different characters, like, the play style does differ, but you can't, it's not like you can't learn that. So I think people that get stuck in the uh, I'm a one trick this character mentality are might fall off in the future. They're gonna hard stuff right land, yeah. Like this kind of stuff. Like if they did this with a jibby, like okay, that's not bad. But this with a path is just not good. And I want to see this team succeed. Uh, I like these guys a lot. But if you are a free agent team, amateur team. Uh, do not pick Pathfinder and then play hard, not even hard edge, play the fucking zone. Zone Guardians. Yes, they did make it, Waco. I think they were looking for another gold for the vault, which is fair. If they're out there, like, there comes a certain point, if you're right, late rotating, there comes a certain point where you're kind of like, fuck it, we're already so, f like, if you're already going to be the last team to the circle, sometimes you got to say, fuck it, might as well get some extra loot or something. But at the same time, like, Lava City, like I said, Lava City is a very dense location, loot dense. Which, uh, a lot of these other drops, like Geyser, look how far out you have to go to get all of Geyser loot. Lava City is all these these small buildings, there's a little bit of loot out here. But a lot of these, like, these six buildings and, like, the cargo bot should be enough to set them free. They should, like, they didn't even rotate into the freaking, into the, uh, vault before the circle started closing. Like, the circle started closing and then they started going to the vault. They should have been there so much faster. Even though I think they want to play zone because they, they they might think like, you know, hey, we're on the edge of the map. We might as well just play the zone. But a lot of teams like kind of like NRG used to drop tree and they would still get to the center of zone. Rogue drops thermal and they play path. And they still get to like a really good spot in the zone. Same with T1 playing Mirage Voyage. Like a lot of teams play on the outside with path and they still get into the zone. Um, so I just I just don't see the path pick for some reason. For it just doesn't make makes any sense. They just they they could be so much faster in their looting. I saw so many inconsistencies in their looting. Yeah, I know it won't Lou. They are gonna. I I do think it's gonna. They're gonna suffer for sure. Like I think EU teams will probably eat this team up alive. Buns, thanks for the follow. So, right away, it's interesting that they are staying here. Um, again, they're playing Path. They have insane loot. They could push into a team that's already kind of like in the zone if they really wanted to. I don't really know why they're staying here. As, as memory serves, I don't think I saw any team gatekeeping them and forcing them to be in this apartment. I get that they maybe want to clear their back, but right now is not the time to fight. They gotta, if they're playing Path, they know where the next circle is. They gotta f try to get into the best spot possible. I, I'm not sure really why they're staying in this apartment building. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, 
uh, open bananaated. Thank you for the follow. What would be expected from a team playing path versus jib? Uh, if you're playing path, first off, you want, probably want to prioritize a drop spot or at least several drop spots in your like arsenal that uh, have a beacon. 100%. The main reason path is played is not because of his tool set, is his his Q and his ult. The main reason is because of his uh is because of his passive, the ability to know where the circle is. Uh, so a lot of the top teams, they land in safe places that have beacons. They hit that, they smack it as soon the path lands on the beacon, most of the time. And they hit that shit immediately before the first circle is even revealed. Because if you don't know, you can smack the beacon before the first circle is revealed and it'll still show you the second circle. So they smack it immediately so they can start, so the IGL, or the whole team can start brainstorming how to move and how to play. So immediately they already have like a bit of a, a planned advantage over every team that doesn't run path. So they're already they're already thinking of their rotate. They're already looting accordingly to the rotate before any other team knows where the circle is. So uh, if you're playing Gibraltar, it doesn't really matter if you get to the middle of the circle. If you can get to the middle of the circle, that's great. You're probably guaranteed really high placements. But Gibraltar is very is a very good comfort pick because Gibraltar allows you to play the edge. He allows you to make uh, very very uh, tough pushes that you couldn't normally do with Pathfinder. And you can get away with it. He's a very defensive character. It's hard to push into a Gibraltar. Um, he's more of a just a safe pick. A path is a high risk, high reward pick. But a lot of teams run path for a reason. A lot of the high end teams. Why play path and not play for circle? That's basically what I'm saying right here. I don't know why they're doing this. What's up, Legabone? How are you doing? Turo, thank you for the follow. Um... They shouldn't be doing- this is why, like, why are they saying here? I don't know. I, I guess there is a team in market, but they could- like, Cap City has so much room for free rotations. They- they don't have to sit here. They know where the zone's gonna be next zone. They have really good gear, so it's not like they can't get poked at. They should be moving. Um, I don't really understand why they're sitting in this apartment building. There's no reason to. It's actually unlucky how much they looted, and <laughs> Timmy still has a fucking ma uh, no mag. I have a question, can I have mod? What's your, what's your light mag for now? I don't know if I trust Frex with a mod, to be honest. What's up, Frex? How you doing, man? Wait, what do you have, like, How's your evening going? Streaming at the, wait, what do you mean no one? Come on, bro, are you really gonna tell me no when I'm over here depressed, crazy? Trex, I'm equally depressed, man. I mean, I know you had more pressure on you than I did, but I'm equally depressed, homie. Trex, are you proud of me, though? These numbers, I don't know what my numbers are at right now, but it's all organic, baby. All organic, no big host. Did I miss something? No. I'm just wondering why they're playing path and not going for zone. So maybe, I guess maybe this was their play. So here's the thing. So I think maybe they were playing for this beacon. But I still don't understand why they're playing for beacon if they're not going for the center of the zone. It just does not make sense to me. And at this point, they should probably know where the zone is. Obviously it can pull here and there, but they should know where it is. Uh, no, Zine. Most people are gonna rotate out of that. 
Uh, that no one's no one when people see the circle, no one's gonna be here. Everyone's rotating. Why do they all play Watson? Great question. Great question. Um, what's so I'm gonna first address this one because I, I feel like your follow up question might be what a lot I see a lot of people saying. There's a lot of people that I've seen go remove Watson from competitive, and I'm just like, bro, what? Anyways, if anyone here scrimmed before Watson, that shit sucked, bro. That shit is terrible. You pick Watson because, uh, you pick Watson so you have better shield economy for your whole team. You don't run out of meds as, as easier when you have a Watson on your team. Also, you don't get nades spammed to death. Um, but one thing that people don't know about Watson, or at least don't consciously think of, uh, in a competitive environment. Like, yeah, she might be boring to look at, but people are going to camp regardless of Watson. She doesn't make people camp. They're gonna camp with or without Watson in the fucking game. Um, all she does is make sure your team isn't broke on shield cells and doesn't die to 20 million grenades. Like, Watson is the healthiest thing for competitive this game has seen, period. Period. Boom. I don't know what that animation was, but boom. Um... <clears throat> But one thing also that people sleep on a lot is actually um, her ultimate actually overall increases the shield the shield economy for the entirety of the game. The more teams that are running Watson and that have at least set up one ult, the more shield cells they'll have, the more maybe potentially even batteries they'll have. Um, so that overall, so if a team pushes a team that has a Watson and she has set up ults, they will they will find more shield cells on their body so overall there are more meds in the game the game feels better to play you're not constantly just like fighting there's a lot of times in king old king's canyon before watson where you would kill a team and they have no shields on them and then you have no way to get your shields back up uh it was terrible it was really bad so she does a lot for the game um a lot of people that don't play competitive think she's garbage they think uh, it's boring to watch her play but people would camp in buildings without watson she just makes the game feel good uh tgw fallen thanks for the follow like screaming in the, before watson was bad it was bad trust me she sells she shield sells by this you got me fuck you Oh, little Lewis with that beam. So I don't know why they're taking this fight at all. They don't have to. Though both teams, Timmy disengaged. He healed up. Uh, the team uh, that that was Lou's team. Lou's team didn't push out. Like why fight this? I don't really understand. Yeah, they, there was, yeah, that's something I wanted to point out too, Balan. Right here, like, there's no, I, I don't know who their IGL is. And I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying that necessarily as like, oh, I just, I haven't been told. I, if you're watching, if you're VOD reviewing a team, you should know who their IGL is just by watching them. Right here, I have no clue who their IGL is. There's no leader here. You could, yeah, I agree, Badoli. I do agree. But they're honestly, this isn't, I feel like this isn't a play you would pull at land. And I say that because land, you know, you know, as well as I do, like, why fight when you don't have to? It's not like they got a big intro opener, right? If anything, they took more damage. They actually took more damage than Luz's team here. Obviously, Timmy got a fat, like, uh, one pump to the face on Rocker, but you can't bank on that. Uh, Tundra, thanks for the follow. So, like, right here, like, while they're struggling here, I don't... Here, I'm, I'm gonna replay this, because this is actually... I wanted to comment on this. Notice how, like, just notice... Like, what is the game plan here? If you are any amateur teams, if you are IGL for your team, or if you have a problem with the IGL on your team, this is where IGLs come in hot. The reason I'm saying I can't tell who their IGL is, because is there straight up is no leader in these comms. They're kind of, like, dancing out in the... Out here, P-Fitter's kind of going up to, like, maybe take an angle... Bronzy's not, he's, he, he's healing up. Timmy's kind of doing the same. 
there is no game plan here. If you don't have a game plan, you will fail. I don't know if they actually lose this fight. I didn't, um, or like they die completely. Oh, they lost the fight actually. I did see two of them knocked. I don't know if they die completely, but like just watch how like unorganized this is. One of my favorite teams that have calmed ever. One of my favorite team comms were FlyQuest team comms. Lou, fucking uh, Monsoon, and Zack. I, I believe they honestly had the best comms in the game. And yeah, they were kind of fun. And I don't mean just because they were like funny and they were constantly screaming. But they were all, like, they didn't need the audio in the game. They, they would yell and they would be so fucking loud to each other that they all fully relied on each other's comms. And that was actually such a strong point on why they were so hard to fight. Um... They always knew what every player was doing because it was always constantly calm. Like I said, you couldn't even hear the fucking game when you watched their VODs. But they actually, like, they 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 go, they go rely completely on those comms and they do it so well. And that's one thing I'm, I'm sad to not be able to see FlyQuest play. Because I feel like they were just fucking really coming into their own uh, towards the end. Uh, towards the last few scrims before the tournament. But watch this. Like, you tell me who's the IGL here. You tell me who the IGL is here. I need, I need, I need to get out of I'm burning blue. Yo, I'm getting a little aggro on this. I'm bad at yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm with you, I'm with you. I killed him, killed him. That's a good pick. That's a good shot. Yeah, they say there's nothing. There's no leadership on this. I died, I died from a team behind. And go figure, you die. So. Yeah, I don't know. We shouldn't have gone up that stairs. There's no leadership Yo, here um... at all. I'm just gonna hide under you. you. Should try to just crawl away. Crawl They're away playing it like it's a rank game. Even like Pfeiffer is calm to like, hey, I'm gonna take yeah. an angle. At least he's saying something. But uh, even then, that's just like a ranked call. I'm just alphaing. Yeah, it's just like there's no cohesion here. Uh, they they lack a leader. It's really big for them. And that's not flaming any player in particular because I don't know who actually is technically their IGL. I straight up don't know. And that's like I said, it's not flaming them. Um, this is legitimate uh, something they probably need to hear. Yeah, after, 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 after so, Badoli said know, it's uh, not a terrible fight to take because they have they might not armor. Here. They Actually, have really good gear. And that's not wrong. Um, but look at that. Timmy died the Huskers. It's not like Timmy died in the fight. They got third party. Go figure. They're trying to fight on the edge of zone. Every team that's on that mountain up here, every team that's up here, as soon as they hear fighting behind them, is 110% going to turn around and look at the people that are fighting outside. Because those are the people those teams have to worry about. You always have to worry about your back with the people that are rotating into you. And if they... It's a dream scenario for these teams that are up on this hill to hear that a team's fighting down here. So, this is just a bad fight. <laughs> like, you don't push this. There's no reason to push this. I need to wait for Lou. Unless they got like a p big pick, uh, like for free on Lou or Rocker or somebody, which they didn't really. Okay. So there's a lot. There's a lot that needs improvement here for sure. I believe it's Timmy. See, so yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. There's no leadership here. Uh, these these guys are very. Uh, in my mind, these guys are very similar to Sonics. I haven't watched Sonic's VODs or anything like that. Like, I don't actually, like, know how their comms are. But Sonic's players are all... I've, I've said this already once, but obviously there's been a lot of newer people. Sonic's VODs and player, or the Sorry, their players are all, like, insanely cracked individually. They're so good. Synced is really fucking good. His wingman is one of the best in the game. Android Dream is really good. Wicked's very good, too. But they don't push... They don't have good macro gameplay. They don't take the fights they should take. They don't... They all, they're always, almost always picking the wrong fight. And I think this is something that Golden Guardians are very similar to as well. They do the same thing. Uh, a large chode. Thank you for following. Like, I think Sonics are just, like... Again, I, I would love to see their VODs, but I don't think they streamed. Uh, I don't think Sonics qualified. And Golden Guardians is a newer team. They're not as experienced as the other signed teams in terms of scrims and stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff is bound to happen. I hope, I don't know, if they watch this or if they are watching this in the silence, in the darkness, um, I hope they don't get like offended by anything I'm saying. It's just, it's just facts. This is something that needs to be, this is an issue that's very prevalent, obvious, and it needs to be addressed. This is not live, no, this is from the yesterday's tournament. Hopefully this team doesn't peek me either. 
Yeah, Timmy's cracked, for sure. But I think a lot of them don't have, at least, I don't know about well, their other competitive past, but I know a lot of them don't have this team that might much look at me, but I don't competitive know experience in Apex. Look that, like, on me. They could be good. I think they just need to rework a lot of how what they do. I should be fine. I don't really have big kills, Oh, did he? So okay. I didn't know that moment. Nothing at this point. But even then, I mean, that's good that he has experience, but even then, CSGO is a very different monster from this I mean, game. I, have, I mean, I have a med kit. Who won yesterday? Um, well, technically, Imper uh, TSM yeah. got first, but everybody there qualified already. Wait, no needs. What did you ask him? Sorry, I, didn't, I missed your question. Dizzy could be pro in Apex. I think Dizzy lacks the passion for... Oh, he got the bat off. That's unlucky. Not much you can do, but you're just ratting there. Right there. We should honestly, we should honestly hold this. I think we should hold that. Exactly. Wait, what did you, what did you ping that, to me? That's gonna be a stretch to even get. It's not Tyre. It's we should get the top of the mountain. How are you gonna get top of the mountain from Lava City, I'm dumping, homie? I'm dumping. A per, I'm dumping. Yeah. If they make a call like that, I am going to imagine that they are leaving within the next 30 seconds. Uh, Even then, they are not getting that. <laughs> but let's, let's we see. Should honestly, we should honestly hold this. I think we You're not getting that, that either. <laughs> nope. That's going to be a stretch to even get. Yeah. Drone's coming to you, Timmy. You got to shoot it. How close is it? Like, that's ideal for sure, but you're not getting that in Lava City, homie. Right. That's just one of those you're just not going to expect to get. Timmy's having some uh, bad luck here on light mags. Right I bet you in both games there was at least one light mag, though, in Lava City that probably P3 and Bronzy didn't call out. There might not have been. There may, might not have been, but the, the odds of that are very low. Um, that's two games he doesn't find a light mag and everything they've looted. I feel like... I don't think Timmy ever communicated that he needed a light mag. It's small shit like that, that you really need to min max in order to have a strong game. I think there's one point in the tournament where if Timmy had a light mag, he would have like destroyed somebody, but he didn't have one. People close. Devontae almost cracked. I'm pushing the bubble. Push, push, push the bubble. Give me, give me lit, give me lit. Got him. Oh, Dead. speaking of six. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down. Speaking of six, yeah, I, uh, their te team name is MSK, I think. They're getting held. They're getting he's held. Okay, we're gonna have to wrap around. Got the loot and wrap around. That was like actually a decent fight there. Their their comms are high there. Uh, anytime someone on your team calls that they're pushing the bubble is always a very good calm. That immediately sets the tone of the fight. That's a very good call. If you're ever playing a jibby and you're pushing the bubble, tell that to your fucking team, so they push that with you. That was that was a good I don't one. Think he died, by the way. He's still in there. I'm gonna push up to get this kill. Oh, no. Classic P farter. I'm gonna syringe one zone, bro, absolute. Honestly, These guys don't zone. give a fuck about zone, man. They live in this shit. They spend more time in the zone than the actual, like, uh, safety ring. Yeah, also, P fit or not getting gold is a little weird. What? I'm not. I'm what? curious why they give it put on Timmy. I mean, Timmy is probably the most like cracked player on their team. That might be why. But I don't know why Timmy's just not running Wraith. This poor Wraith. He's in front of us, I think. 36 blue on a pathfinder. You wanna to try to get uh in there? All right. Pathfinder, I need to heal. Hold up. Where? Underneath. Maybe in there. Do you think that's safe? The top is open. No, underneath? Yeah, underneath. Inside. So like, so this is where, so right now they're just playing a guessing game. This is where you need your Wraith to have the gold and your Wraith needs to, your Wraith can leave the team and actually run around and scout. Like, this is, Wraith needs, like, she could easily run up there and be like, yeah, there's a team in here. No, there isn't a team in here. And then back the fuck out. Um, this, this is art, like, this is one small problem. Like, it's, like, Timmy's trying to make a call, but he's trying to go in blind. He has no idea who's in front of him. What's up, Amaz? How are you? Here, uh, in, in, in the glass, the glass. The glass? I, for the glass. I, I don't, I don't think you should pull for it. I'm trying to, I'll, I'll look for it, I'll look for it. Okay, ready? Hold on. 
god. My anxiety is rising. I don't think you can teleport. I don't know. Oh shit, there's so many. Hey, what the fuck? Fuck, it's a rat. You have to port, you're gonna have to port. I'm dead, I'm dead. Fuck. So, one one small thing. He really should have just stood still and healed. There's no reason for him to run around healing. Uh, obviously, there's no way you could fucking predict that was going to happen. But he really should have just been standing still and healing. And yeah, that's also why Path doesn't scout. What do you fucking do about that? You're stuck in it. Wraith? If that's Wraith? Uh, oh shit, there's so many she cues, jumps out here, and jumps down into the second floor and gets back to her team. This is exactly why Path doesn't scout. I, why I don't know why. If Timmy's gonna IGL, I think he needs to play Wraith, and I think Pfitter needs to get good at either Path or get good, or preferably get good at Jibby. And this team will probably find a lot more success. In here, fuck, it's a rat. You have to port. You're gonna have to port. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. Hello, fire it. I'm dead. Yeah, that's fuck, just man. silly. The rats in there. You can probably kill the rat. Probably kill, kill the rat. rat. Kill the rat. It's fade. No. And porting for scouting isn't necessarily bad either. But there's no need to port there. Like, Peter could literally just do it. Get the, get the, get the pole point, kill the point. Uh, oh, that's I'm unlucky. Shot in the back. Yes, Fallen Grim. They do. Yes. They run uh, uh, Wraith, bad, Jibby, I mean, Crypto. You should try to, try to get the gold if you can, Peter. Yeah, I will. Well, a lot of people don't like to be told how to play Bryzy, you but the, you're not wrong. Yeah. It, that is true. What's up, promos? Good, man. Can't complain. Congrats, by the way, on qualifying. No way Hello, Inorific. Mm, I really doubt it, too. <laughs> so right now, their only real play here is they basically have to rat. They might be able to get a res off, but that's really fucking unlikely. Uh, I think... I don't, I don't know. I think they just have to move late to the circle and play like this fucking... They just have to rat. They're, they're not gonna... They, they might be able to get, like, and hide behind some cover here, but there's probably a team here that's hell bent on watching them they should be if you're this team you got to watch any team trying to like rotate or rat um i would say p fitter and bronzy probably just have to play here we'll see what happens though As... <laughs> i mean shit i can if you want they go now go now go now they're not peeking they're not peeking they're not peeking no 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 i'm at the gold but okay whatever i'm yoloing it for just you just friends just friends you grab the gold yeah just grab gold while i get him this might, dude, this might cause that team to just monkey rush them. If that, if I was that team over there, I'd be like, dude, I'm just gonna fucking rush you and take all your shit. Make sure the door is open for us. Yes. We'll see, though. Timmy, I'm leaving you. Wait, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm actually, fine, I'm actually fine, I'm actually fine, I'm actually fine. Leave my stuff, leave my stuff. Oh, or that team that's at the house over there, I forgot about them. What the fuck, I actually had up? That's crazy. They actually just got that. All right, oh, good on them. And he's looting all of it for free. That's crazy. I guess that team must have rotated. How did P Fitter just go down there? Of all of the guys to get go down there. Call as much as you can. Maybe I can get you in. Just don't risk your life for it. Yeah, Rissy's nuts. The wingman. You in? I don't know if you're in. Yeah. That's some fucking brother brotherhood right there. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think he queued. So I don't know. Maybe he didn't have it up, but I feel like he shouldn't have gone down there. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I, I am. My bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I I even said don't shoot. I can't don't shoot. Yeah, my bad, my bad. So they call me, they call me. We should just ride here. We should just ride here for now. Yeah, this is We're fine. We're gonna have to go right. There's no way we go left. But this is a suicide play right here. Like, what do you do? You don't have a Gibraltar. You're yeah, just gonna get gonna beamed to go trying right. to go in. 100%. Yo, I'm gonna hold from behind. It. And oh, if I, I get in trouble, I'm queuing back to you, okay? I doubt anyone's gonna come from behind. No, no, I, I, I don't. I, I think just hold it. Just hold. Just hold. Yeah, of course, of course. Is he right here playing up on the hill? I think right is 100% the play. 100% the play. I don't know. I think I, they, they honestly this team right here might just wrap around. I think I'd be very surprised if they get out alive here. We might trace because going through dude, here. Is just why not, Timmy? They really should. Timmy absolutely needs to be on Wraith if he's gonna IGL, 
And I think I think Timmy is probably the best player mechanically at least, and typically that goes hand in hand on Wraith. Not always though. But like if Timmy's gonna IGL, like you saw him just get picked for fucking free as a path scouting. Like if he's gonna run around and scout, he's gotta be Wraith. He actually has to be Wraith. Here and go up the zip. Oh, they thank you, Brezzy. Hard team, hard team to keep us out. Yeah, they're still trying to make it to the mountain, honestly, uh, dude. Just, uh, stop, stop peeking, stop peeking. They're, they're halfway up. Over here. So they okay, just... You don't want me to peek at all behind us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we just I think we just act like we're not here anymore. I think you brought yeah, that's a bug with all shields right now, so like, even knock down shields. Come back, come back. Maybe they, should, they, they, they can we can like bait it like as if we rotate. Because if they see you at all, yeah, it's true, large shields. Hold us out. Yeah, it is true. But right as, as of now, I, I don't know if they have more kills, but as of now, they're only getting three points on this game, which is not good. Yeah, be ready. Pay, pay so we'll see. We'll see. Look here, look here, look here, look here. Yeah, he's gonna come. I got Red T, I got Red T. Nice, nice, look here, look here. Yeah, it's true, Anorific. Get me, get me, get me, get me. Low, 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 nice. Get in, get in, get in, get in. We need to get this walk, this walk, this walk, this walk right here. I'm down. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They should have played, actually. If anything, they they should have maybe played the rock on the right. Get me, get me, get me. Low, 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 nice. This, they probably should have played this rock over here, if anything. I don't really know why he went for this one, because this one is not actually very good cover. This one at least protects them a little bit from the team up here. Uh, and I think it's in. I could be wrong. It might not be in. It's hard to tell. Get in, get in, get in. It get might in. not be in. Fight this walk, this walk, this walk, this walk right here. No, it's definitely in. It's 100% in. Yeah, I think this little... I think they should have played this ridge a little bit more. This rock doesn't have, like, the most ample cover. Like, it's big, but it's not going to protect them from, like, how steep of an angle this is. Oh, uh, what? Were they near that rock? I mean... Oh, you mean near this rock? Wait, how did I just slow this down by keybind? Either way, I mean, like, either way, it's so rough for them to actually survive this. But any, when it comes down to this, like, look how many people are falling right here. When it comes down to this, like, this time, any way you can uh, prolong your life for any couple seconds can net you some really, really crucial, really crucial points. So, um, I don't know. I think they should have picked the best cover. They're probably going to die no matter what. Because a lot of teams focus is on the southern end of the circle, because that's where most teams are coming from. So they're probably going to die no matter what, but the more they can de prolong that death, the way better it's going to be. I think taking that rock is kind of silly. They should have probably just taken this regardless. I don't think anywhere is safe, but... I'm down. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Come to me, come to me, come to me. See, like, they're still, he's still getting shot from up above. If he's on that other rock, that team from above probably isn't hitting him. This team might still shoot at him. But he's not getting shot from both angles, and that's why you would choose one side over the other. He's literally, so I talked about this earlier, and I'm going to tell you all you amateur teams out there, or players that want to just get better. There's an analogy I like to use. I didn't make it, but I think it's a really smart one, and I think it actually applies here real bad, or real, real well. I don't know why I said bad. Uh, it's called Be the Bread. Now, what does that mean? There's, there's one team on the left here, one team on their right, and then they're in the middle. I know Mormon is one who uh, told me this, but it's actually such a good analogy and it's a good call out. It's actually such a good call out to get the point across. What it means is if you're in a sandwich, you don't want to be the, in, in, in a BR, if you're in a sandwich, you don't want to be the meat. You want to be the bread. You always want to be the third party on the outside. You want to be the team that's pinching. So if like, so Timmy is inserting himself into the meat here. He is the meat. And then I think uh, whatever team's up there and whatever team's to his left, they're the, they are the bread. So, it's actually, like, if you, were, like, obviously they don't know this, like, call out, they don't do it like that. But, like, if I was playing on a team and I was like, yo, be the bread, uh, let's go right, be the bread. Something like that. Like, that's, such a, it's a quick call out, and it gets the point across about what you need to do. It means, don't force yourself into somewhere you don't have to be, you know. Be the bread is a good call out. It's actually, I think it's like, because like how else, like there isn't a really a concise way to be like, yo, make sure we're not uh, in the middle or like make sure we're not getting pinched here. Like that's so much longer than just, yo, be the bread. You say be the bread. If my teammate's like, yo, be the bread. I know exactly what that means. I'm re-gearing how I'm playing that circle. Be the bread, get the bread. There you go. I love it. I love the iterations on it. And yes, 100%. These kind of circles are fucking death for Pathfinder to rotate into. So if they, I mean, they'll still be the, they'll still be the meat a little bit here because the other team's up here, right? They're shooting down, but they'll let, they won't be like the fucking roast beef like they are right now. <clears throat> this is like, the, the, he, he, to me inserted himself into the meat, plain and simple. 
And see, if he was on the right, he at least doesn't get shot from maybe up there. I don't know, maybe... What do you think a decop saw wig saw learning send rotate so they can rotate properly? Uh, I do the same thing. That's the one thing about this path is if if you are landing near a path team, like Sentinels is very like you can if you were kind of if you get an ambiguous first circle and you see Sentinels plays a lot of circles the same way. Um and they do a very fucking good job at it. So reading Sentinels off the circle isn't a bad idea. You should you should take into account what you, you have to take into account if it's a good team that's running path. But reading path teams and where they're moving is very important, actually. It's a lot of things that, like, I think a lot of casual players don't, like, really get. Because uh, if you're playing Jibby, you don't have your own beacon. You know, you're not getting a beacon. And so playing off of another Pathfinder that already knows where the circle is, is not a bad idea. Seeing where they move and why they're moving there is very big. Yeah, I agree, 422. Alright, so I didn't see where the circle was gonna be, but I'm not even like paying attention to where the circle is gonna be because they're so they're they're playing edge game anyway. Yeah, I might I might edit it a little bit and cut down on some of like redundant things, like things I I repeated myself saying a lot. Unless you guys want the full unedited vod, but like I said, I don't know how much people want that. Do you think it's better if pass passive can be stacked? I don't think pass passive needs a buff. If anything, that shit needs reworks. So how do we? So we're Bronzy, I think, just got. Why is Bronzy leading the charge here as a Watson? This is bad. This is bad formation right here. Soldier out of line right now. Bronzy should not be out there. That's bad. That cannot happen if you're a Watson player. You have to be always cognizant of your position and where your team is. You cannot be far from your team. All right, so they're, they are currently in in the tractor. They could sit there and rat if they want, but if any team sees them through the window, they're just going to pull them out. Wait, I need to hear this. This is an important team dynamic issue right here. Mm, I mean, shit, it's me, baby. This triggers me. He runs this a lot. I don't know why we see a Mozambique. I, I know he's holding it for the bolt for the peacekeeper, but that might be, that might be like the worst. Like everybody holds certain guns for other certain guns. Like you hold a flat line for example. Flat line's not a bad gun, but you hold it obviously for mags for like a wingman. Uh, R3, same with R9 and alternator. Or R3 and alternator, you hold uh, those attachments for an R9. I would never in my fucking life hold a Mozambique for a peacekeeper. Unless you have hammer points, then maybe we're talking, but yeah, I don't know. I would rather just keep that one part of my inventory taken by a, a bolt. You always seem to bring new people under your wing and help them develop. I'd love to see you get a steady team. You're a heck of a player. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'd like to believe in the good of man. <laughs> There's a lot of dumbasses out there. I'm not naive to that, but I'd like to try to like, I, mean, just keep it. What do you, what do you I don't know. Confident, yes, right. I, I I like to try to see the good in people, but not everyone can. Unfortunately, not everybody can fit that. Tram, thank you for the follow. No, I agree. Mozam hammers are nuts. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking shit on Mozam hammers. Spylands, thank you for the follow as well. But like, I think he needs to. I think I think, I think Timmy needs to work on his wingman because I've seen him pass them up, and that's. Stop. Oh, we actually got a lot of room in here. By the way, um, for this is a more of a tip for like a lot of the more like players that are amateur and a lot of like a lot you do this a lot in competitive sometimes like you have to edge the zone and like play these little crevices sometimes. Uh, and this is just a tip for people that don't know because it seems like a lot of people don't know this. So a lot of times you're sitting in these spots right and you're kind of like shit I don't know if I'm actually in. Uh, again, a lot of people know this but there's a lot that don't. If you see this, if you see your uh, thing over the edge of this white, and it snaps into place when you're safe, this is how you know. This only pops up when the ring is closing, so uh, this is how you can tell if you're in if you can't tell on the map. Just a little heads up if you're like trying to see, like like once the zone is closing, if you're on like a couple rocks and you're not sure which part is in, uh, you can use this. It snaps into place when you're in. Just a heads up, because uh, I do find a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, so like, watch. I, I don't know if they move if Timmy moves at all from like when it's. 
Maybe we, I think we could fucking brute force in here, but I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Fallen Grim. I appreciate it. I only have a fucking Moses. So let's see. So right here, the circle's about to close. Let's see if it actually. He's he doesn't really move no. from this position all too much, or from being in. I, I literally just didn't get a second gun. Yeah, I don't I don't I think it's gonna show it. Like I don't like think that. he ever like leaves the area. Are you feeling hot right now? Thanks for that tip. You're welcome. Got you, baby. I mean, shit, it's, it's me, baby. Yeah, so if you're not in, it'll show you I mean, that you're not in. What are you, what it you snaps running? onto this when you are into the zone. So this is very useful for ratting. Very useful for ratting. They don't ever leave the zone, like the zone, so I don't think it's gonna change. But I'll try to see if I can show you uh, another time. No problem. Uh, no problem, Ricky. Yeah, it moves along the bar the closer you are to the zone. And then, like I said, it snaps into place when you actually are in. Hey, just jumped off. They are kind of exposed to grenades, yeah. They have an ult ready to go from Bronzy, but they're not going to commit it here because there's no point to. So that's like a big thing. Like, if he commits an ult here, if you don't know it also, it's it's very useful to know the numbers in this game. Watson's ult is a three minute cooldown. So if he commits it here, he won't have it for another three minutes. So, uh, unless he has an accelerant. Um, so you don't always want to Watson up immediately. Sometimes you want to save it for a better position when you have to move. Yeah, get ready, get ready. They're fighting right now. They're fighting right there. This is big. Uh, just Walt, thanks for the follow, man. There's one it. There's one it now. Uh, I've not heard about the one in England, no. Uh, Lane's thanks for the follow as well, dude. I got one, I got one, I got one. Pathfinder 36, purple. So I respect their gameplay here. I respect that like they want to like go for kills on the edge, but man, I just don't understand why they're not using Pathfinder instead. Hastiar, thank you for the follow as well, dude. Yeah, he finally found that PK, dude. Tell me if you need me. Tell me if you need me. I don't need you. Thank you, Hyper. Appreciate it, man. I'm here for so long. Yeah, I, I that is really like viewer retention is like crazy. It's a crazy important thing. God, this is such a hard rotate when you don't have a Jibby. One thing I've noticed is, I mean, they're using a portal now. I'm, just, I'm noticing they don't use portal all that much. It's kind of crazy to me. Joe Mastro, thanks for the follow. Very interesting. I'm not, I'm gonna actually back it up here. I really, I, I don't know if they actually set a game plan here. I am gonna back it up because I wasn't paying that much attention. Let's see, I'm gonna go back to like where they're on the hill. Okay, so right here. Let's see what their plan is. Not, not even high ground, just that corner. Yeah, that corner, that corner is good. Uh, that, uh, you should pour every pour down there. Oh, show the circle snap? Yeah, we'll see it. So, yeah, look up here in this direction so you can see as he moves, that it moves with him. And then you will see, obviously, the circle snap because I don't think he eats his own here. Right there. You saw it snap and like unsnap, unhinge a little bit. So it is noticeable. I'm getting, I'm, I'm playing I right love here. Timmy's call out there though. I'm playing solo. So what I've gathered is this isn't really a plan. Like I feel like Timmy has a plan in his head, but he needs to communicate to his team. Bronzy and Peter are just chilling here because he told them to. But like, what is the plan? Uh, Timmy said he's playing solo. That's weird, but it's it, it could work. Um, but I feel like these guys have no idea what's going on in this right now. And that's a that's as an IGL, you have to be okay. communicating that to your team. If you are doing some like crazy plays, you have to let them know. Yeah, a little bit, Shred Boy. Timmy should be on Wraith, yes. The way he plays, he's an absolute Wraith player. And and honestly, P Fitter should be on Jibby. Homer, thank you for the follow. They got fucked here. They got really fucked here. They are they are on the far end here. The fast end of the circle is gonna be really rough rotate. I don't even know what they can do, man. Without a jibby, especially. Like, so here's the thing, with a jibby, you can do things, you can make some plays. Um if they had portal, but they don't. So if you don't know, for example, why Jibby is very strong, um he makes rotates like this and out in the open like very doable. Assuming let's just assume the right that portal. She could portal into like right on the edge of the zone. Uh, if you don't understand why people pick Jibby. And then it's very important that the Jibby is the first one to take the, the portal in. He takes the portal in. He immediately domes right on top of the portal. The other two come through. The Watson can choose to ult within the ult. Within the dome. If she wants to like stop the team from getting naded after the dome falls off. 
but putting yourself TPing and then doming immediately puts your entire team safely into the circle. And then all you have to do is communicate to your team which side to like make sure they watch so they don't get clapped. And then they pretty much like fuck every other team up that's trying to rotate in. So that's basically why people play Jibby. It's very strong. Um, it's very hard to rotate into an open circle like this with Pathfinder. Literally just watch my fucking door. Uh, we got we yeah, have, got out in the I third a, round, I Ultra. A, I have a lock for you. I I I have a lady's gonna fucking peek this door. He's right here. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, Jesus, going, going. Bronzy. Okay. I can't, we can't get I, I know, I know, or I guess I know, Peefitter, I, I guess, did the damage. Go, Peefitter. Hey, get the res, get the res. Thank you, Scrimpton. I appreciate it, man. Bro, Normally, like, I play the game. Because I also am, like, a pro player, but oh, I, uh... Oh, Good, good, good. I, push, I do I enjoy push. doing no, this they, too. They, they have, is it on the grind? Fuck yeah, dude. Blue. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Is it on us? On us? I'm looking, I'm looking above you. I might do like one I'm VOD review way, stream like a way. week. Maybe more. Dep all depending. I'm dropping you some cells. But I do also at some point want to. I'm not going to play the game probably tonight. Maybe I'm just going to keep play doing under, the VOD reviews because. I'm already like, kind of tired under, at this point. Just go under, go under, go under. Yep. Climb up, climb up, maybe. Oh, wait, there's a fucking barrier here. Hold on, we got this. Go, 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 climb up, climb up, climb up. This was even before the res buff, yes. Ash. But thank I'm you for the kind words, Scrimpton, man. I appreciate it. Focus out, focus out, focus up. Good in, get in, get in this house. Alright, so he's making. Armor, it's, at least he's making calls on what it seems to be doing. He got fucked on that. Get in, 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 get Oh, I think I see. I think as his, as, I think as he was peeking, and somebody peek poked at the bottom. That's unfortunate. That's a good call though. It's like to ha to tell your team what to focus is a very big and important thing. But it's just that's just a mess. He should at 100% zip to that roof. That roof was pretty open. Not on the slopes or on the downslope, it wasn't. But they could, I think, play this little corner right here on the roof, like at least crouched. They might have been shot from the north, but it's a lot better than what happened, to be honest. Yeah, that fence definitely Fuck, fucked him. There's a fence right there. Yeah, no, he actually just got fucked by that. That's so unfortunate. <clears throat> that that fence changed everything. Wait, I think I think y'all should have just come came to me. I, I want right? to hear. I want to hear how they did this. The I, I was, I was there. Was there. Yeah, so they did come to Timmy, but the problem is I think as they ran up to the house, somebody pushed outside the house and to clap those guys running in. He needed to ult for them. I don't think I, I don't think any of them are gonna say it, but he needed to ult for them. Uh, we, we were both I mean, I, mean I, I was doing fine. I was doing fine. Getting, getting to them. Was is bottom house empty? No, it was, no. So somebody under it. Uh, right. the, the other side of it is free. No, but the house is in. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. No, the outside of it to your right is free. Like if you're watching Drock. Uh, um, you change to a higher DPI if you get fence. I'm, I'm Damn, that's some next level shit. I'm talking about inside the actual. Uh, I'm watching Forest and Brute. I'm, I, is the yes, house actually I do inside, remember that. inside taken right now by somebody? Yes. Inside the bottom, yes. Uh, okay. Gross. Top and bottom are taken. We, we, we could have played the, the, to the right of the house, outside bottom floor. Gotcha. Uh, this calling gives the follow, dude. There's a window there. I don't know why I didn't come in on my no, no, no. The window, stream labs. The I mean, but they could still peek in, you know? They could still peek in, yeah, but like the, the corner, <laughs> in the corner, you, they, the won't, they won't peek in. They had to look far left in that corner. If you, if you came in, I think we could have gone in. I should have been more aggressive. I, I they couldn't get in, Timmy. That's the problem. When I crapped, when they I could I not get in. I should have just fucking peeked it again. I fucking should have peeked it. Like, I don't know if he, I don't know if Beefreder was with me, but he should have fucking peeked it too. Like if if that if Beefreder was playing too bad. Yes, uh, like sometimes that, probably like, best know, control, like, but yeah, he's nuts. You should have went to the right door. I don't know if you're here. I'm here. I just got back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you well, went down the what? building, you went to the same door. As none that. of them are talking about the zip line though. He like Timmy gets there up there easy, but none of them are talking about the zip line. Like. No, 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 no,
So I need I need to know two things, okay? Because okay, even if, I want to see how they can resolve this. Me, did you immediately just come to me and then you got to me and that's it? Or did you no, when I you get to me, you picked the door? All right. Did you get in all the way? Because I cracked reps. All right. You could have looked. You could have looked down the hole. You could have looked down the hole and shoot how when he was rezzing. Because it was clearly obvious that I'm pretty sure he was rezzing, right? Especially when you were coming past the door, you could probably hear him start to res, right? So like. Uh, Cause like that shit takes me about like four to five seconds, right? I'm pretty sure where you were, and if you got to me, you should have been able to see the res, uh, hear the res as you were coming towards me. Like, like, you're stuck in. I didn't peek all the way in, but I peeked the doorway. Was he talking about TSM when they were on the one f house? No. Uh, oh, I show you the timestamp. Okay. Yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Right. I, I think I. Oh, wait. You're right. I should have peeked. No, no, no you weren't. You weren't. You weren't even with me. Okay, you weren't even with me. Never mind. Yeah. I, yeah, I was gonna say. I, I don't remember Peefitter ever like. I don't remember Peefitter yeah, ever actually right like really right peeking in there. I, I'm watching you right now. You weren't even with me. When I cracked reps, I should have peeked oh. again. Well, the guy who came from Xbox named knocked his teammates' quarters. He said he had no idea how good Snipedown was until playing against him. Yeah. Snipedown's a literal fucking. He's a literal Halo legend. That man's one of the best controller players for FPS ever. I think. I think. Yeah. Yeah. He's a really cool dude too, man. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. crazy we, I get to play that, like I have played with like my fucking gone. idols from Halo, man. We could have took the house and that would have been really. Turn really up all audio, yeah. Like both of y'all. Sorry, uh, it's a little loud for know. me, so I don't. Like, I'm not sure how loud it is for you. I do agree that, that it could have been a bad play because you guys should have fucking died to the top team. But I don't know. I think I think if you both came, at least Pfitter would have would have been able to come over 100% for HP, even though he did. Yeah, I don't. You know, it would have worked out no matter what. Maybe Bronzy would have get down, but. I think I know I where know. I think I think, I think this is like a little bit of Timmy and his like coming okay. in uh, I mean, into his own know, uh, from an like IGL standpoint. Um, I think yeah, he I think Timmy has a grand like scheme of play and like how the game is being played, especially on that one play where he just went solo. I think there he had an idea of what he wanted to happen, but he didn't say any of that to any of his team, so they were just sitting there. Um. It was, it's very interesting. Uh, I, I used to do that a lot when I wasn't, like, very comfortable in my own, like, calling and stuff. Or, like, when I just, like, just in general. Like, I, it's sometimes, it can be hard to, like, uh, get get your point across on what you want to do as an IGL sometimes. Um, but he didn't say anything, so I think his team was just kind of, like, chilling there. Uh, P. Putato, thanks for the follow. This team definitely is lacking just, like, a solid leader. Not saying none of these guys can do it. But at the moment, there is no sign of one at all. Hold hot stick. Hold hot stick. Uh, side of Leaf TV, thanks for the follow. Yeah, he told him to not come down playing solo. Yeah, which is, uh, that's an interesting call. I've never really heard that one, but if I'm one of them, I'm just like, okay, so then what am I doing? You know, what am I doing over here? No. He didn't really communicate like the, the rotate or anything. Like it's just, none of it was really there. They're kind of just like playing it like it's a very competitive ranked game. Three, um, two, one, yeah. Like I said, that's I think that's no. their main issue. They have a lot of issues. One of them is also being their drop. Uh, Lava City's fine, but they're not playing it right. I'm so sad. People. Sad. Um, their team comp and leadership is definitely a big one, though. Definitely a big one. Like the first fight I watched them do in Capital, I'm just like, no one's saying anything. So you can use the first 30 seconds to do whatever you want. Pay attention to down. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. They're not on the same team. They're not on the same team. Wait, this is three teams. Three teams. Pay attention. Yeah, yeah. Right here, right here, right here. This guy's cracked. Almost cracked. He's cracked now. Cracked now. Knock, knock, knock. On me. You gotta help your team, Tim. You gotta help your team. Nice. I couldn't get armor swap up top. 16, 16. New team, new team, new team. We gotta get out, we gotta get out. Run. Why, my big question is why are they doing this push? If we can cover them, we can't, we should. There is no reason to push this. I'm trying to get out. When's the finals? Like the actual, go the, the, the finals hill. already go, happened. Go, go down the hill. Go down the down the actual hill. tournament fine. is in March. Watson one. Go for the drop, they're I think. No reason to go for the like, like no reason to stick this. What's in low? What's in low? I can't see. I can't see. You're pushed up by yourself. Just come back. Come back. 
There's a guy to my left. Guy to my left, by the way. At the bottom, at the bottom. Down here. Keep calling, keep calling. Keep going farther. I'm, I'm Trying to get the frags, bro. True. Watch the blue. Crack. Uh, no. Tamri. What? The only thing people won was if you were top five, you won. Res cracked, uh, he, he's, either he's to respawn or EA or someone paying for all your expenses hey, to get to the him. tournament. Him again. And I then I think you also get a buy in the tournament as well. Friend. Yeah, they, they, they're they basically playing like a... It's, no, that's a lot of what the Golden Guardian style is. It seems like it's just a glorified ranked game. Um, with slightly better comms. What's the prize pool for the March Major? I think it's somewhere near 500k. Or is 500k. They're, they're literally, con they're, this is control of the squad. They're standing kill, still. Kill, 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 kill. Do you have nades? They, they don't I, have I, a watch. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm going closer. Come to me. I'm going closer, I'm going closer. I got one, knock one. Huge. Wow, six, what a knock. Six, six. Hundred, 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 get me. 121. Got give. Got raid. Nice, good nice. fucking good. shit, good shit man. Good shit, Bronzy. Like, but this is, I mean, this obviously oh, worked out. But this is so fucking sketch. Is it the fucking I never would have called this, dude. Here, let me, let me this is so me. sketchy, dude. Hold up. I never would have made this call, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I was like, bro, I'm healing. Yeah, you almost got me killed. <laughs> what? Dude? They playing Edge and Fragon, bro? Yeah, they are. I don't know what that Watson was on. They fucking threw so fucking hard. What was Rogue, that? Rogue ran. Rogue team ran. Yo. I think with some adjustments, this team could be even better. They have the talent. They do. I think this team desperately needs coaching. <laughs> Shred boy. Um, they are very good players, like, individually, but they are... They're just missing a lot of the actual competitive play and what's required. And there's no clear voice in terms of, like, getting to that point. I, I don't. It's fine. We don't need... We don't need. So this, for for example, to piggyback everything off everything I've just been talking about, Shredboy, thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. I appreciate that. Brand spanking new sub. Thank you guys, seriously. Um, I do do appreciate it. But this is kind of what I was just talking about with the leadership. They're, the circle's closing, and they don't even have a plan to rotate. You, like, it will happen to you sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you'll just be fighting, you'll be looting a lot. You need to always have a plan, and that needs to be communicated to your team um, as much as you can. It's not easy to do. It's way easier or uh, way easier said than done. But, like, they're they're about to move, and they don't even have a plan to rotate. Like, that's not good. That's something that, like, amateur teams always... You need to always have a game plan and have, like, two contingency plans in the back of your mind. Shouldn't you give the gold helmet to Wraith? No, 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 um, no, 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 we have to take it. For portal plays, yes, if he needs the portal off cooldown. But for overall play, it should be on the path. Because the path's, the path a cooldown on his Q is very big. If he doesn't have his port, I think he already has his port, so he doesn't need to give it to the Wraith. Ideally, so like, the, if for those that don't know, the, like, the, the bullet list um, for uh, gold helmet in terms of priority for who needs it. Uh, another anomaly, thanks for the follow. Gibraltar, number one. Actually, Gibraltar is the most important because the more often you can use his dome, the better off you'll be. So Jibby is number one for a gold helmet. Um, then you prioritize it on your Watson if you don't have an ult up and you're about to rotate. Um, or Watson or Wraith, depending on who needs their ult more. Uh, if you're rotating, then Wraith needs it for her portal, obviously. Um, and then if you don't have a Watson ult, you gotta give it to your Watson. Um, and then Pathfinder for like overall play. Like, when everyone else is good. and you, Or if you don't have a Gibraltar. But Gibraltar basically has it for the most part. Um, w no Watson is made the game feel fucking miserable. You just died to nade spam or no meds. It was bad. Competitive feels a lot better now than it ever did. To me, at least, I think. There's obviously, like, uh, that's irrespective of, like, gun metas. Obviously, a lot of people were really annoyed about the scout. I was, I'm actually, I was actually watching this. Why? They're in a tournament. Why are you... You shouldn't be talking it like they're talking about we literally had three endings that was kind of just I mean I guess not much is going on but like this is you probably shouldn't be talking about old games like keep it you know you're about to rotate
No. Like, come here, come here, Yes, Tribune. Wait, right. yeah, sorry, I know nothing watching this feels like I'm learning Latin. Yeah, so I'm I'm literally analyzing like the top level gameplay joker, so um, this probably won't be of much use to you since you don't even know the basics, but always ask questions if you have any. I'll always be available to answer them. Should you always third party the fight when there are three squads left, even if you have circle, how do you decide? Um, so first you need to you need to identify the strong spot like who has who is the strongest spot in the game or in that uh, remaining circle um but yes ideally you always you never want to really force the fight both teams if you know like if all the teams probably know where each other are every team is going to look to fuck the team that has the worst spot over like if one team has to rotate into the circle th both teams are probably going to beam that one team um but yeah ideally you always want to third party it if you can but a lot of it's identifying power spots. Like, do you have the best spot in the game? Does the other team, if you have to rotate, you're probably fucked. Um, but a lot of that is just playing, it's kind of playing the other teams as well. Um, <clears throat> uh, also, if you are the one team that has to rotate and getting, and you and one of the teams is like trying to like screw you over, uh, the other team will always start firing at the one, at either team once shots are being thrown out. So one thing that's very important to do in third party mitigation is kind of like if you've ever played any RPGs and you know what aggro is, is you kind of want to, if you are ever the, the source of a third party, like, or the, the center of attention, <coughs> you want to almost like de-aggro the people that are you're fighting with. Because no team wants to get third party. If two teams are fighting and a, a, a third party is shooting at them, most players will kind of try to back off and like beam that other team because they don't want to get third partied. So a lot of it is just like player management. Uh, obviously it depends on the situation, the terrain, the environment, everything. But a lot of it is just really player management. If you want to try to disengage as soon as that third party comes in, because that'll probably force the other two to fight each other. There you go. I'm gonna give us height, just in case. Is that a good zip? I'm also, I mean, not also, I'm also, They've th that was bad because they've been ratting this whole time. I, hold on, let me go back and let me see because I was talking for I'm a bit. I don't know. Well, so nobody knows they're here. They were here. Say, say low, say low, say low. Nobody say knows they're down. here. If no one knows you're here, okay, I think one of them said they might have seen me. If no one knows you're here, or if you're like ratting, you don't want to put up a zip until the very last second. Because him putting up the zip basically know, alerts every team that he's here. You think so? I don't think so. Uh, I have, I have two but let's see how it plays out. Okay, okay, maybe. I guess, yeah. Yo, there was a port right here. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm gonna give us height, just in case. I have old cell. I mean, not old cell. I have gold helm. Did you already use old? Yes. I, don't worry, I already, I already used all the skills. Okay. Alright, it is this one. Let's see what Timmy calls here. We just take caves again? Yep, yep. They're breaking all That's a bad that's a that's right a that's a bad old placement. They're gonna break this again, I think. By they Bronzy, that's crack. a really bad spot. Like you no, they, I, they, I, they, they wasting an excel like that crack. isn't the end of the world, but it's certainly not what you want. Scenarius, thank you for the folio. Big fan of your work in Elwyn Forest. <laughs> that was nerdy as fuck. Alright, let's go. There's a primary right here, shoot that man, shoot that man! Hey he moved, he moved, he moved. Archer, Archer, play. Archer, play. Ready now, ready now, do it. One, go, 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 go. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Archer, play. Archer, play. Ready now, ready now, do it. One, go, 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 go. They missed. Oh, they missed. Okay. One guy, one guy, one guy, one guy. No, two guys, two guys. Full team, full team. I cracked one. I cracked one. I, I cracked you. I cracked you. Win this. Win this. Win this. No, he got locked again. He got locked again. Right here. 1v2, 1v2. No, there's no way they lose this. They should not be losing this. Technically, they shouldn't be losing this. Oh yeah, I say yeah, they're gonna lose. That's crazy. I mean, that and this is fucking Sentinels in a nutshell. You give Sentinels any shred, you give them one inch, and they'll they'll run it with a fucking mile. Sentinels should not have technically won that. Even even with the failed arc play, Timmy actually did a lot of intro damage here. Damn, that's crazy. It's so fucking dude. It's so hard to fight Sentinels. They're one of the hardest teams to fight against, man. 
You have to clean wipe them. If you prolong any fight against them, they will fucking kill you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out that exactly. I want to see. So I'm gonna I want to go back up a little bit and I want to listen to like what their thought process is with all of this. I want to like critique that. Play right here, Bronzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to uh, get before, even before this. I want to see. Like they know a team's in there. I, I want to hear all this right now. Follow me then. Follow me. Get close to the stairs. Don't go down. Don't go down. All the way. Just stay right here. Don't go down. No, no, no. Play right here. Play right here. I think we just play close. Play close right here. Make give, me them make... give me home. Give me home. I'm close. I'm close. Play right here, Bronzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think scoot back. Scoot back a little bit. Scoot back. So a lot of what Timmy does. Left in the fact you can't see it. Okay, he leaves explain it there. A lot of what Timmy says, like he doesn't. He doesn't tell his team what he's doing. Or what he thinks, or why he believes what he wants, or what he's doing. Right there, he did. But. Ready now, ready now, do it. Go, 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 go. How do they miss that? All right, so that's like 70 damage on Retzi. He cracks. So, Zom's. Yeah, Bronzy went for the thirst. That's where the throw is. I don't know if he meant to do it intentionally or if he just like confused the targets. That's where the problem is. Bronzy went for the thirst. Ready now, ready now, do it. Go, 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 go. Oh, one, guy, one guy, one guy, one guy, no, it's two guys, two guys. Full team, full team. I cracked one, I cracked one. I, I cracked two, I cracked two. Win this, win this, win this. Timmy's arcs could have been a lot better, too. He got arcs again. He's lit right here. 1v2, 1v2. Guy close, guy close right here. I think, yeah, I think P Fitter went in trying to. Uh, I, think he had armor swap. I think P Fitter went in trying to help really hard. Bro, Sanox going way back there is so smart. Senok actually taking that way back spot and like supporting from way behind like that rock right over here is actually what one sentinels that so hard. Because Pfitter Pfitter went in to try to help Timmy as soon as he possibly could. Bronzy should have been right there with him. But Pfitter basically went in committing to a one for one trade. Senok staying way back here is so smart. Senox is like support fire from back here really just fucking won them the fight. Of, of course, a lot of it is different if they hit that arc plate too, but that's such a tough team to fight, dude. I think the I think the the idea to take Sentinels on here is like in theory, like it's within like the macro sense of the strategy is, is smart because if they if they eliminate Re Sentinels here, which is a tough task. If they eliminate Sentinels, then they have this whole tunnel to play. They don't have to worry about their back. Previously, they were obviously they were on the stairs here, right? There was teams all around, basically already hold up in the circle. They didn't have like a free spot to take. If they rotate anywhere in here, Sentinels is on their ass. So it's a smart fight to like to take this, so to make sure there's no one behind them. They just executed the fight poorly, and Sentinels. If you fight, if you execute execute anything poorly against Sentinels, they will make you fucking pay. They're they are probably the hardest team to fight. Straight up. Um, it's it's pretty crazy. Did Ritzy not take any more damage after the Timmy sprayed him? I guess not. It didn't seem like it. Yeah, the thirst, not just the thirst, but um Sen or Senox take. So if any time, like this is like just really like angle holding 101 for your team. Uh Red Sea was playing here against this fucking box. Anytime they try to push, and actually Senox got a trade for it, um, Senox is holding this angle, basically, this whole angle. And Senox is a, like a really fucking good shot, too. So him holding this angle um, makes it so they cannot push. They're like, they're horny for Retzi, right? Um, otherwise, Retzi heals. And Senox basically playing that wide angle, holding for Retzi, won them the fight so hard. Thoughts? That was such a heads up play by Senox. Such a heads up, I I, heads up play. Yeah, the thirst is bad too. Um, I think they got really like they overextended a lot to try to get damage, and Sentinels was, is very good at supporting each other. I think these that arc should have been way better. That arc should have been like right here in this corner. If that arc was right here, that changes the dynamic of the entire fight. Right here, where that arc actually landed, basically. He's trading, he's trading that time where he could spend shooting or reloading or even healing to throw a nade. And that nade does absolutely nothing. So that's also a really bad, that, that was a really bad part of the fight too. 
He's trading all that time to throw a nade and it virtually did nothing. So if he had a better position nade, like if it was right here in the corner, that changes the whole dynamic of the fight greatly. Either the Sentinels have to the Sentinels have to basically back up and run away. The Retzi already doesn't have Q, so that nade could have changed everything. No, Watson Alt was like back here. Yeah, Watson players are backbone, absolutely. Senox is a very consistent player. Uh, Senox is probably one of the best, probably one of the best support players, if not the best, at least in NA. Uh, that man, yeah, people talk about like Retzi and like Zoms every now and then. Hashtag Zoms Nation. But Senox is actually a big backbone of their game. He is very consistent with his damage and output in fights. And he's very smart in his positioning. Which is, it's like, it's almost like a... It's almost like a hockey goalie that is, isn't is flashy, so people don't talk about him a lot, but he's not flashy because he's always putting himself in the right spot to save the puck, right? Like, he's not diving over the fucking ice to save the puck, but that's because he's already in the right spot, you know? It's not talked about a lot because it ain't flashy, but it's what it's actually should be happening. We're W King team, by the way. <laughs> Smart W Keys. Smart W Keys. This is so risky. I'm, I'm curious why they're playing like this. They don't know anything about this team. They could have two golds for all they know. Obviously, it's unlikely. But they didn't gather any information. They just hard fucking sent it. Flyquest is... I don't think they're very toxic. They're usually pretty nice. If they say anything toxic, they're just probably, like, memeing. Yeah, a lot of people misunderstand what when streamers are, like, just bantering versus actually being toxic. Will I upload the NRG review? Um, depends on if I edit it. If I don't edit it, probably right away, but I haven't decided yet. Yeah, it's just banter most of the time. It's not really them actually being toxic. That's a very ballsy. Like, I don't know why they're pushing teams like this. And I'm sure if I could tap into Six's comms right here, because this is the team, Six is, is the team that died here. I'm sure if I could tap into their comms, they're probably like, what the hell is this team doing? Why are they playing Purple on Wraith and not Watson? Um. You mean the other way around? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, I think they're just forgetting. I don't know. It seems like P Fitter. P Fitter, if you're out there, kind of beta. You always get the shaft of the, in the armor. He even gives the gold armor to Timmy. No, 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 it shouldn't be on Timmy. But, I don't know. I, I actually, uh, I, I do agree that, or not agree rather, but I do believe that when it comes to rotating, you should give your high armor to the, your immobile targets, like like uh, Watson, because she has no out. But once you get into a comfortable position and you're starting to hold a spot, Watson gives it back to like the Wraith. Yeah, they're based, yeah they're, this is like a glorified rank game for them. All right, so at least they're. I like to see that they're actually like setting up a game plan. Okay. Left where you shouldn't. They need to be a little bit more descriptive, for sure. Um, your teammate shouldn't be asking you where as you're rotating. Uh, Phonics. Phonics Monkey and Joshua, thank you guys for the follows. I appreciate it. I said VR veteran. I've been saying that all night when I've been talking about Frex. Uh, Ouija at times three, thanks for the follow. This is a very interesting rotation. I'm not sure why they choose to do this. Like, one thing about, so, one thing about Skyhook and Capital City Circles, I'm gonna pause here and kind of do an educational moment, is there's a lot of uh, free real estate in Skyhook and Capital City. Yes, pun intended. Um, even though those circles generally have more teams alive, there's a lot more room to actually move in terms of rotations. I'm not sure why they're trying to rotate away from Skyhook when they could probably get some pretty free rotations within it. Um, I didn't, of course, I didn't see the entirety of the zone and the area, but you can actually move pretty freely through Skyhook through portals and stuff like that. Uh, M, M Jazz and Daddy Viz, thanks for the follow. So I'm not really sure what, I, I think they're banking that no team is out here, but that's tough with 17 squads in the circle. Yeah, that's the thing, short boys. I usually I don't watch them because I right I, I would normally be in bed by now. I'm I'm just going a little bit until the end of the scrim. 
Could be they're scared of the cap track rotation late game, maybe. I'm not sure. I wish I could see more into Timmy's mind on how, why he's calling a lot of this, but he's kind of just like, I, I used to do this a lot when I IGL'd for my team back before Poland. Like, I would call something and my team doesn't really know why I'm calling it. Like, Bronzy and Pfit are just kind of, they follow Timmy, they listen to his orders and his uh, commands, but they don't really know, I don't think they really know why. They're just following him. Um, I think it's important that a good IGL elaborates on what the plan is overall, so your team knows what's going on and knows how to react depending on what the situation is at hand. Uh, but Jessica, Owl, thanks for the follow. Like, this is a forced fight. They don't have to try to kill them. But these guys... <laughs> Neurotics. Thank you for the follow. So this is the quote-unquote uh, Timmy griefed Sentinels play. I think Sentinels is in their building, right? Yeah. Okay. That was, yeah, that was 3,000% of grief. That was 3,000% of grief. And let me explain why. Because I've seen a lot of people, like, saying, like, people overuse the word grief. This is why, right here. So, the reason that's a grief is a lot earlier on before any before this fight happened and before the fight before this one happened timmy identified he's he was tr when he was trying to plan out what they want to do he was like hmm, we could go to the right here and it's true most teams would rotate out to the right and then wrap around wherever like they can there's a lot of room to actually move here especially if teams are distracted fighting at each other so the fight up top they didn't have to take uh this fight either they did not have to take they could have rotated around the reason it's a grief is because they pushed this fight uh, pretty stupidly. They won it, but only really because Retsy got cravered in the back. But they won it, but they pushed this fight, and then they died immediately after. That's a massive grief. This is just a dumb, this is a suicide fight right here. It's just, all they did was ruin Sentinel's chance. Not saying like, uh, I'm not like a Sentinel's fanboy or anything, but even if it wasn't Sentinel's, they, they basically just cucked whatever team this was. Um... Anytime you take a push and it ends up killing you within the next minute, you're griefing, kind of. For the most part. This is a huge grief. It's, Timmy knows it, too. I think he apologized, like, profusely to Red Sea. Because this, basically, this play stopped them from being... This play stopped the, uh, Sentinels from actually getting into uh, fifth place. It actually means a lot. Like, it means a lot. Because uh, I think Sentinels would get placed in an easier bracket. Or rather, or I think like they get a buy on top of their travel expenses paid. <laughs> Thank you for the bids, Majestica. Gotta go to work, have a good one. Thank you, man. Have a good day at work. Yeah, everyone here made it, but technically everyone here qualified. But this is just like, this is a grief and a half. Did he know it was Sentinels? I think he did. Explain why getting more points for my team is considered so taboo. Because, are, are you saying like him trying to get kills for more points for his team? Uh, because you never want to go for kill points over placement points. If, if, if going for three kill points is going to cost you your life, uh, unless you're in a, like a do or die situation where like you're in a really, really fucking awful spot and you're gonna die to the zone no matter what, then yeah, your play is to go for kill points. They had options here. They had so many options here and they chose to take a fight that killed them. That's why. Um... The circle's about to move, and this shit chunks round four. Uh, it's just... they Yes, they got points out of it, but... them. So, this circle... So, uh, fuck, it's not gonna show the kill feed. But, I'm gonna play this again, Ricky. This will actually... This might actually help a lot. A lot. So, 15 points... So, say they die right here. 15 squads. That means they get 15th place. They get one point for that placement. They get... Uh, however many points for kills. I, I think his teammates have a couple kills. Watch after, after, uh, I'm gonna play this out again. After, uh, Bronzy dies to the zone, look how many squads are left and how many placement points they're missing out on. I don't actually know. 
but I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot more squads are gonna die on this rotation. Staying alive as long as possible outweighs getting a couple kill points and then dying. Um, they really, they could have rotated and gotten more points out of it. Like, this was, for all intents and purposes, a really dumb push. Also, Timmy's literally trolling here. <laughs> yeah, Retsy, I, I watched it from Retsy's perspective. I actually didn't see their perspective. So, 15 squads left. This rotation alone is going to kill a lot of people. Get the kills, get the kills. One's on the self res. Here's a self res on him. These kill points just aren't worth how many people are going to die within the next minute and how many points they could get if they had a safe rotation. Damn, there's actually not that much fighting going on. But right there, so they got two or three extra kill points. Let me see the summary. Does he show the summary? A lot of people will die within the next minute, though. See, it's already down to 12 squads. People are still fighting. Show the summary, Timmy. Show the summary. Show the freaking summary to me. 10 squads. That's the second placement point right there. This squad's not even full dead. Also, to note, if they were able to get into... The, I mean, if they were able to rotate into the zone ahead of time, they could be getting all of these other kill points. Like, it's just not worth... dying that early. Into early in terms of how many squads are left. Just for a couple kill points. It really just isn't. It's a dumb push. So it's either fight Sen or right there or rotate out together. I guess I'm just not getting the grief aspect. Yeah, they just, they did not have to force that fight. Most teams are not forcing that fight. They forced the fight on the team up top too, which they didn't have to, but they did get the kills and they won. So that's a good push. But anytime a team pushes you and then they die immediately after, even if they win the fight, that's a bad push. You don't want to do that. You don't want to throw your entire game just to get three more points. Uh, Jay Roka, thanks for the follow. Especially if you're that early in the game. The only time you want to grief people, quote unquote, or go for kills is, like I said, when you're deep in a zone that's going to kill you no matter what and you see other people like running. So you shoot at them to try to get the kills on them before you die. That's the only time. There are certain zones where you'll hear teams come. All right, we got to play for kills here. Meaning... We're gonna die, so we gotta take as many teams as possible. They had options. No, they could have. You know, they could have rotated. If you, if I, if I go back like maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, um, Timmy talks about and tries to plan a rotation. He says we could go right here, and then he's like, "Nah, let's go kill the guys up top." They didn't have. They didn't have to rotate, or they didn't have to stay there, at all. They could have gone somewhere else. Yeah, like you, you never want to stop to fight a team on a rotate, like Mick said, ever. The team's place higher. Team place higher than Sens? Nope. I think they were eleventh. Either fight Sen right there, or just rotate out together. Yeah, that's it. N no, Sentinels. They Sentinels weren't. I don't think Sentinels were planning to do that. There's so many rotate. There's not only this, like this rotate is not only. There's not only one answer here. Skyhook is very open ended. You can go so many routes with a lot of cover and rotate in. Sentinels were probably going to go straight out in front, and or maybe uh, I forget exactly what their plan was. I think they did say it on stream, but like, look at this. You don't. This isn't the only way to rotate. And and uh, Timmy's team had plenty of time. They took the roof. One of the biggest things you can do before rotate is take the roof and look for information. Um, look for information and see where everyone is and then plan a rotate. They had the roof here, which is huge information that they just didn't even use to plan a rotate. All I'm saying is if I was a coach and my team did this, I'd be like, what the hell are you guys doing? You should not have been there anyways. You should have been rotating around. <coughs> they placed eighth, okay. Yeah, they, it seems like they were playing for kills. Um... Which isn't a bad format or a bad thing to do because a lot of teams don't want to fight. But when you die immediately right after that, that fight is not worth it. It's not worth it. If they rotate out, like, all, most teams are going to come from the southern area here. Timmy identified that it might not be a bad idea to rotate right. Um, so you have to, a lot of rotating is identifying what's the most congested part of the circle and how the fuck do I get away from that. And they have Pathfinder, they have Wraith, like, they have mobility as a team. They can get away. They can rotate elsewhere. Um, 
even if they made it to like this end of the circle where there's actually some cover they can play like all you saw how much fighting was going on most of the fighting was concentrated right here and that's basically how you gauge a rotation is you want to get the fuck away from everyone else and they could have done that but they stayed right in the shit yeah it doesn't matter it's not, like i said it's not a lot, I think, I've, I feel like maybe a lot of people are misunderstanding grief as in, like, Timmy just wanted to fuck Sentinels over in particular. It doesn't matter who this team is, it's still a grief. Like, it, it's not that, like, I don't think Timmy was trying to be malicious towards Sentinels in particular, if that makes sense. But them dying, them dying for this is just not fucking worth it. It's just not worth it. You almost, you never really want to push a team like this when the zone is closing. Like that's just, most players would not see that as a good fight. And one of the reasons that, that Timmy even, uh, Timmy's team even got, they didn't even actually get one of the kill points for it because Retsy got Krabert in the fucking back and I think the guy with the Krabert got the knock. So they didn't even get one of the points for him. So they actually only got two points out of it. Actually, well, if, if Timmy got nine kills here, then it might kind of be worth it, to be honest. I mean, yeah, he might not win, but nine points is a lot. Depending on, it's all, all depends on how many points you're actually getting. Oh, Sanox, so they only got one point off that? Here, let me see if the kill feed represents that. Maybe if I can see that. Oh yeah, dude, they got one. Did they even get Zoms? They got one. Okay, so that makes it even worse. They got one point off of that. One point for them to die this early in the in the in relative to all the other squads is just not worth it, man. When the location of the other majors be released, I would love to go. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't think maybe we should have pushed that. You don't say. Like, 